In public health, it's always the last mile or the last inch um, that really determines whether or not an intervention is helpful or not. And we certainly have been challenged in getting vaccines and treatments to the people who need them the most. There also needs to be heightened attention to delivery capacity within countries. And that's true on vaccines, it's true on therapies and instituting testing. We underestimated the gaps early in the phase of this pandemic, the gaps that exist in many low and middle income countries. I think that we need to be looking at important global organizations like the G7 and the G20 to get together and get aligned and figure out ways that they're going to equitably be able to distribute therapies and tests to countries so that we're prepared for the, this pandemic, but also the next one. And the demand side has been very weak and national governments have not yet in many instances stepped forward to make this a priority. So the question is how to engage, how to engage countries where you would think over the long term, those that are vulnerable to these sweeping outbreaks of the current COVID and next generation of COVID and other emerging threats, which will require something in the form of therapies and tests to, to see this as a priority and to build it into regularized budget processes. We have the evidence. We know they're very effective for people who have underlying medical conditions or at high risk. It's incumbent on the administration and all of its partners in the private sector and in the research community and in the public health universe to keep communicating to healthcare providers and to patients who are at higher risk. But the other part of the problem is, of course, people's willingness to trust in that medicine or that vaccine and their willingness to come forward to receive it, and also the awareness and the ability of the healthcare delivery system to be able to make the judgments about who needs the medicines or the vaccines at what point in time. Yeah, unlike many different uh, diseases that we've lived with for a long time, I think there still is a lot of lack of familiarity by the public and by many healthcare providers around the world about the role of antivirals and how effective they can be in keeping people out of the hospital and saving lives. And we've seen in the United States that even with the president making an announcement about the test to treat program that will be starting in the weeks ahead, there's still many healthcare providers, even now, many months later, who are uncertain about the value of these medications. One thing that we learned around the world is that communications are very important, but just having the right information is not enough because there needs to be a way for populations to be able to accept the information. And that requires the right messages, the right people tailoring to audiences, and really looking at communication science. And it's important that we look and see how we can make things better for next time because you can have the best therapies, the best vaccines, but it's not going to help if they're not going to be accepted by the population.